Hello friends and welcome back to Dew News. I am your host, the King of Dew, and on this episode we're going to talk specifically about Bitcoin. And uh, we're going to talk about August 1st a little bit, um, what's going on with SegWit 2, and things of that nature. So um, that's what we're going to talk about. And uh, very news driven. This is all very important stuff, whether you're new or you've been around for a long time. Um, or maybe you're just an investor that's been around for a short or a long time too, but you don't really dive into this stuff. You don't concern yourself with all the really technical aspects of everything. Um, this is going to be for you as well, and um, I'm going to try to bring it uh, to you guys in a way that you can understand what's going on out there. So it's actually kind of funny because it was uh, over the last week, personally, um, it felt like things were going to be okay. You know, I was getting a little more confident, seemed like people had confidence um, in August 1st, and that's because the confidence um, was being driven by the votes to go with SegWit. 2x um, and uh, essentially uh, all all the big players and all the people that have the voting power are it's about 80 percent of them actually are for this segwit 2x well um, breaking news essentially is it, the code dropped uh, you know it was released um, just yesterday and um, outrage a little bit uh, from the community. Uh, people are very upset about what's going on here. Um, I actually have, uh, you know, here's some, here, here's an actual tweet. Um, at this point, anyone even thinking about running Segwit2x Trojan Horse, as they're calling it, is pretty much a traitor to Bitcoin. This is crazy, guys. So, um, a lot of people um, are against it. There are definitely some people that are for it. I'm not on either side personally. Um, and I don't want to bother having to choose a side because I don't even have a vote. Uh, I'm just along for the ride. Probably like most of you listening to me, we're along for the ride. Our vote, our say doesn't really matter. But it is important to the entire blockchain crypto uh, universe um it's so critically important uh bitcoin is the gateway to all things cryptocurrency it's the first one anyone has ever heard of it's the first one that they get involved with you have to buy it in order to buy any other uh altcoin um, or blockchain solution right now so it's really there's a few alternatives out there to get your money direct to some other uh, cryptos but Essentially, this is the backbone of everything that we know, and um, we have to give it a lot of respect for what it is, and, and, and um, even though it's lost its dominance, it's still critically important um, that August 1st goes well. So, um, again, I was, look, I was looking to August 1st with a little bit of confidence because people were on board. It just seemed like everyone was on the same page. That SegWit 2 was going to be the answer. And um, essentially, it's not. Um, because now there's quite the outrage occurring. Um, and this is the most important part. Uh, and this is a little, little uh, article done um, by one of the Bitcoin developers. His name is Luke Dash Jr. And he, and he had a post. And uh, one of the key things that he talks about in this change in this in it well right now it's the beta right so he's looking at the beta code he's going through it and one of the key things that's most important is that it actually includes a hard fork that will activate 90 days after segwit activation so um uh everyone's trying to av avoid a hard fork Right, uh, we've uh, been talking about on this channel how there have been people, um, specifically uh, Bitmain, um, trying to basically hard fork it so that they can kind of get their way. Um, Segwit 2 has a hard fork built in, and that's not what anyone wanted. 
Everyone felt like Seglet was going to be the answer to not having to do a hard fork. Hard fork, um, if, if I have an opinion, personal opinion only, is not the answer. And it should be avoided at all costs, I think. Um, and that is with limited knowledge. Uh, and I'm definitely not qualified to make these decisions. The people who are in it um, and, are, and have been working on this for years, they know a lot more than anyone listening to this channel, a lot more than me. And um, again, we're, on, we're just here for the ride. But I, it's my belief that for the markets, for the confidence um, for all cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, um, I, I think that it's important it goes well and a hard fork um, potentially has lots of implications from my understanding that it's, it may not go well. We have to find a solution as a community, but again, we don't have a vote but we must pay close close attention and we must seek to try to understand it to the best of our ability because this all could hit the fans so hard it could set us back a year or two years and i'm talking the entire crypto universe uh blockchain technology as a whole because if we don't have investor confidence we sure as heck aren't going to gain consumer confidence and it's just it's just not going to be good so it doesn't matter um if you're anti-bitcoin it doesn't matter um if you have other coins you're investing in you could care less about bitcoin it actually is very important it will affect every coin and um the best we can hope for is nothing business as usual would be the best thing okay um and because of that, because that's the best thing, and there's no immediate reward, my personal prediction is that the markets will either be flat or go down between now and August 1st. Because there's really no, like, winning until we really know if everything is good. So does August 2nd mean we have the confidence that everything's okay? I don't know. Probably not. Are we going to need a month? Are we going to need two months? Three months? Are we going to need a year before we can all look back and say, well, that went well? Because there's going to be so much chaos and confusion. If you go onto the Twitter, there's people just yelling and screaming at each other, their side of the argument. And at the end of the day, we really don't have that much of a say. And... It's really all about confidence for the consumers and confidence for the investors. And if they're going to be out there on social media fighting and arguing, it does not bode well for any of us. Maybe you're hardcore 100%. You're only here for Ethereum um, type of person. I'm sorry, but it's going to really hurt Ethereum. It's going to hurt anyone that's in love with Dash. It's going to hurt all of us because all of us are associated to Bitcoin because when anyone thinks of cryptocurrency, that's the only thing they know. And so that's just the way it is. It's going to roll out uh, without any of us deciding what is best for us or our particular blockchain, right? Right. So there are there are a lot of blockchains that are actually uh, tied in a way to Bitcoin, and even those will be disrupted quite a bit. So I say all of that um, just to kind of share my opinion and uh, just just so I have something to look back a month from now and two months from now, just to uh, reminisce about what I was thinking at the time as we're leading up to it. And I know that a lot of you guys really want to talk about this. I hope you guys will uh, speak up in the comments um, here on YouTube and over on Steema and have a conversation about this stuff. I hope, um, you know, no matter, maybe you are super uh, opinionated and have a strong opinion. Uh, please share it uh, because I'm completely open to 
any solution as long as the solution bodes well for uh, confidence short term and long term. That's that's my preference. We have a lot of momentum um, uh, and we're being adopted quickly um, in the business world and I'd like to see more of that. Um, I would like to see this accelerate. Uh, I, I would like to think that there is a uh, floodgate about to open of investor money, but they're waiting. So that all being said, with investor money, ICOs are out of control, and uh, I will talk about that in my next my next episode. There's definitely no shortage of money for uh, how silly uh, it is out there, but that's what I'm talking about, guys. Is like there's so much stupid money yet to enter this market. Um, and uh, fuel all of the blockchain technology. Whichever one you're a fan of, it's it's ready to go to the moon. All of it is. But we're sitting here waiting for this to blow over. And so we must pay attention. We must try to learn, uh, talk with each other, and understand it. Because uh, when people um, are out there uh, arguing, fighting, and complaining... We've got to counter it with some good reasoning and uh, make sure that we are in, continue to be enthusiastic about the technology, about what it can do, how it can change the world, change people's lives, set people free. Um, there's so much potential here. We can't lose sight of that in all of this, but you know that the media is really going to fight against that. They're going to want to find something that's wrong with this and beat it into the ground. Uh, there are some governments that want it desperately to fail. There are some governments that can't wait for it to succeed. Um, so it's going to be quite an interesting month, and I will be following it best I can, and I hope that you guys will too. Please, throughout the month, share um, on all my videos uh, just what you're finding. You guys know that I love reading your guys' comments, especially when you guys uh, point me to some new news. It's very helpful for me. Uh, it's a lot of work to find all the information, so I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, so in particular, I am really looking for as much information um, about uh, the potential hard fork, um, because right now it's looking like we're hard forking no matter what, because if SegWit is what everyone's voting for, and that's the way we're going. Um, and I know that uh, Bitmain wants to do a different uh, type of fork. Well, if they get their way, we're going that way. You know, we could be two months away from having three different Bitcoins of sorts. Are we going to have a Bitcoin classic? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, it's going to be very interesting. And uh, it's slightly ner uh, nerve-wracking a little bit. I uh, am a little bit concerned. I don't have uh, any type of investment advice for you. I don't think anyone should be scared. I think it's time to just get wise. Uh, don't get scared, get wise. Do some research. Um, and uh, let's work together so that at least we together... Can be in the best position possible to um, uh, protect ourselves if we're invested, uh, maximize opportunities if there's an investment opportunity, um, and also just again counter the critics, fight back in the media, um, because you know you may be one month away from every person in your life who knows that you're into this stuff attacking you, um, basically. Uh, making fun of you and saying, ha ha, that stuff that you're doing, I heard in the news that it's this and that. What, you know, you, you've got to start preparing now to, um, to counter that stuff because uh, it's going to happen. And uh, if, you're, if you're watching this channel, if you're a fan of this channel, trust me, you, you're probably uh, a big fan and a big believer in what this is going to do for the world and uh, you're not concerned about the short term because this will be um, something that is put in a history book it could be epic things could explode um, it could just be a nice little ripple in time a before and after kind of thing um, we may all talk about before the Bitcoin fork or something like that right um, and then the after 
Uh, it remains to be seen what will happen. But I did want to address it because a lot of you guys are talking about it. You guys are in the forums talking about it. I see you guys on other channels. And uh, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm paying attention and I want to talk with you about it. So feel free to leave a comment. So that's it for this episode. I just want to talk about Bitcoin. If you like this, please um, give me a nice thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe as well. We'll be talking about this all month together. Uh, feel free to join our little community here. It's growing really fast, uh, but we still uh, all know each other quite well. Uh, we love answering everyone's questions to the best of our ability. So any question you have at all, leave it in the comments, and someone's likely to help you. Uh, we're not the best at helping anyone with Polonex problems. Um, that seems to be everyone's problem these days. But we'll support you through those hard times as well, waiting on your Polonex tickets to finally get serviced. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you so much, and I'll be bringing you the news here shortly, so hang tight. Um, but hopefully this ties you over until then. And as always, guys, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.